Hello everyone and welcome to a new video here on the channel Magical Pencil. In today's video I will show you what Wizarding World inspired products I got while visiting the UK this year. I visited the House of Nina Lima, I was at the Platform 93 Quarter Shop at King's Cross and I visited the Warner Brothers Studio Tour London, the making of Harry Potter. So let's see what products I got. First, I visited the House of Nina Lima. House of Nina Lima, visit our magical shop and gallery. This is actually what the house front looks like. The entrance is over here. And on the back, you can see where the shop and gallery is. So it's pretty close to Oxford Street, Covent Garden, Shaftesbury Avenue, Regent Street, Piccadilly Circus. Home of the graphic designers of the Harry Potter film series. Plus the Fantastic Beasts film series. So they have this beautiful leaflet laying out a uh, shop and gallery and I got it. They also have the new Nina Lima version of Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban for not for sale yet but you can pre-order it in the shop so I think it will be out in October. 2023 so yeah I think I also will do a little walk through the house of Mina Lima if this is um, if it is online um, I will put the link at the end of the video so you can check that out the only two things I got while mis visiting Mina Lima was this postcards so they have a new a new range of postcards and I got this for a friend because she is a Snape fan so this is the message that comes up in the Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban when yeah Snape Snape saw Harry um, with the Marauders map and says Moody, Wormtail, Padfoot and Prongs offer their compliments to Professor Snape and requests that he keeps his abnormally large nose out of other people's business. And I think this was so funny that I got it for her. Let me show you the back as well. Message to Professor Snape from the Marauders map, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I think this was so great and I bought it for her. I actually was thinking of sending it to her, but you know, getting stamps is, it is sometimes a nightmare because they have stamps, but then they don't ship to, to Germany or to, to the EU, so it was kind of strange, so I just bought it and I will give it to her when seeing her next time. And then I got myself this beautiful card. I haven't seen it when I visited the House of Nina Lima before. It is, yes, it is a Christmas card. Never, you can't get too many Christmas cards, could you? And this one is particularly pretty. You can see the gold detail here. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, ring the Hogwarts bell. So it is a Harry Potter slash Hogwarts slash Wizarding World Christmas song. You can see like, find a broomstick in your stocking, see the magic on display. So this is like a Christmas song. And as every, hang on, what's written on the back? Hogwarts Christmas Carol sheet 
Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Oh, I didn't knew that. Great. And as all the other postcards, oh, not the postcards, but the, the cards, they come with a golden envelope. So these were the things I got at the house of Mina Lima in London. The next day, yeah, I think it was the next day I visited the platform nine and three quarter shop. In fact, I was there twice. Um, yeah, and I only bought like two things over there, which astonished me, but they had a new, I think it's called New Me collection out, but I wasn't a big fan of that. I got my favourite Harry Potter sweets, which are like at the moment, they are the Fizzing Whiskies, so they're gone. I'm sorry, can't show you <laughs> anything of them. Um, yeah, I didn't get a chocolate frog because it was too hot and I was sure I can't eat like a proper chocolate frog in a few days because I love chocolate but um, I can't eat this, you know, this is quite solid chocolate and yeah, I didn't want it to melt away just because I was too lazy to eat it. So I went for my favorite sweets, the Fizzing Whiskies. Um, and the other product I got, it was still in use, that's why it, is, why it is out of its packaging. It's a Butter Bear bottle opener. So there is a magnet if you want to put it on a fridge. And yeah, it's quite solid. It's metal. And yeah, it's a bottle opener. Pretty, has a good weight to it actually and yeah I saw it I haven't seen this before but I think um, it has been out a couple of months or maybe years but I haven't seen it in the shops yeah when I was around so I saw it and it really goes together with my um, Hang on, I bought I bought another Harry Potter product in the platform nine three quarter shop. I just forgot about it because I was thinking, you know, no, um, I got another Butterbeer product. Hang on, I will be back. So I'm back now. <laughs> I just forgot about this towel, guys, which is so sad because it's so beautiful. Let me show you. It has the same like bottle beer style like the bottle opener has and it's so pretty it has the new or the newer butter bear logo in the middle and then you have this like brewery which it always reminds me of kind of medieval um it gives me medieval vibes and there's a ship the barrels yeah it's so pretty and hang on what does it say here harry potter wizarding world and then there are like washing instructions this is so great how could i forget about it i don't know so i got three products <laughs> at the platform line three quarter shop and then i went to the warner brothers studio tour it was just amazing you know I visited the Wizarding World over at Orlando two times in 2010 and last year, so 2022. But I haven't been to the Warner Bros. Studio at all yet. And when I talk to people over in America, they say, you're from Germany, like the UK is so close, you haven't been there yet. And I don't know, I think it's it been open for 10 years I don't know but they couldn't believe it I haven't been to the Warner Bros studio at all but now I was there and it was just magical let me tell you it has a different vibe than 
the theme parks in America because there you actually like you are being in that world and the Warner Brothers studio tour it's like you're being part of the filming process it has a different vibe but it was nonetheless very very magical so the first product I got when I entered this activity passport and the theme you know they do different treat they do different themes around the year um, for example dark arts or cockroaches in the snow and I was there while the theme was discovering Hogwarts so it's like you being Harry Potter or you being like a first year going to Hogwarts and it was so great um, I really love that this was actually my first visit because it was like my first um, visit and my first yeah first time being in the great hall and there was actually the sorting hat like it was in harry potter and the philosopher's stone so that was very great that was great let's open it to give you a quick look and um, while you're going through the tour you can collect these seven stamps and you can also um, have a look and find the golden snitches around the tour um, i find a couple of them but i think i haven't all of them so you could, I think that one was near the Gryffindor common room the golden snitch I have to say I spent my entrance was at 1 p.m. I left like on the, on the second last bus I think so I was there for such a long time but i didn't do like any of the interactive stuff so i didn't ride on a broom i was not sitting in a in the hogwarts express and being scared by a dementor I haven't done all these things yet so i need to come back one time the death eaters platform nine three quarters and the hogwarts express I think the paintings or like the drawings are so beautiful. Then we have Gringotts Bank. This kind of exhibition of the Gringotts Bank was very impressive, like very modern. Dive on Alley. This was so great because I had like a deja vu. It was so great because it takes you back to like the vibe when you're in America a bit. Um, so many people when I was there was like saying like oh, I really can't want to go inside with these wizard wheezes and I thought like it's pretty cool in there um, just make sure at one time in your life that you could be able to afford to go to the U to the US and uh, visit Dive and Ollie and go in all the shops um, yeah I think it's dream and for every Harry Potter fan and Hogwarts Castle which is like the last big room um, inside the Warner Bros studio at all and it was so impressive and the music was I had goosebumps it was so lovely and yeah some people cried when I was there because they were so over the moon with seeing Hogwarts and yeah I really like that they had like a, a change so you could see the Hogwarts castle at day and at night and I really love that yeah and there you have the answers the QR code and I really enjoyed this I think it was made for children but I really love doing this um, yeah while walking the tour and then it, because it was actually my birthday when I went but I um, was gifted the tickets for my birthday so they gave me this beautiful 
happy birthday bash in the Weasley's Wizard Weezes style. And because the theme was just covering Hogwarts, at the platform line three quarters, they had some space there where you can do um, where you can do like creative things. And because the theme was just covering Hogwarts, you were able to. I think it was called Chatterbox. You can um, create your own chatterbox. So we show you the sorting hat, Hogwarts crest, not the sorting hat, Hogwarts crest, and then you have like cunning, wit, pride, courage, what's that? Patient, bravery, loyalty, and logic. And you know, if you're doing like the chatterbox. Thing. let me show you like hopefully I can do this on camera like oh, hang on can't literally do it <laughs> properly because oh god and then you kind of it reveals like a Hogwarts house And you can this was a little craft on the way which I really liked and uh, when I'm talking about like the Hogwarts houses let me tell you after I came out um, the Warner Bros studio tour um, I visited the chocolate frog cafe and they had some amazing like food on display and i got myself a sorting hat cake and the funny thing about it there was a sorting hat on the cake and when i i ate it i saw like there was some blue color at the bottom so for me the cake revealed that I was a Ravenclaw so I'm not too astonished about that because yeah maybe I could be a Ravenclaw but I think I'm more of a Gryffindor or a Hufflepuff to be honest um, yeah but I did the test over at Pottermore and the test said that I'm a Gryffindor so I don't know probably presumably the cake said I'm a Ravenclaw if I you if I ask other people they probably would say Hufflepuff and Griff or Gryffindor and and Pottermore say I am a Gryffindor so um maybe I could be anything except from Slytherin I wouldn't say I wouldn't consider myself a Slytherin so um Probably more these three houses, but I would say either Hufflepuff or Gryffindor, but yeah. The Pottermore test decided, uh, the hat decided that I should be a Gryffindor. Yeah, um, if I do have any footage of the chocolate frog, display of their food, uh, their sweet items and of the, I have some footage of the sorting hat cake I will insert, insert it now.
yeah and then of course after I finished like walking through the tour after I was at the chocolate Fork cafe I went through the shop you exit the Warner Bros studio tour via the shop but I skipped the shop first to to go and have a little bit to eat because I yeah I really wanted to get something from the chocolate frog cafe so I went back to the shop and I got some pins you know I'm a pin fan first thing I got um, I do I already have two Gringotts pins from the wizarding world um, over in America and because I was so I was so happy and I was so impressed by the Gringotts part of the exhibition I got this beautiful Gringotts bank pin so there you can see the pin and a little maybe it's a little coin inspired dangly thing which said the bank of Gringotts and that one was 20 pounds the next pin I got is a Honeydukes inspired pin. It's the Peppermint Toads. I like them as well, but I didn't saw them. Did I see them? I can't remember. I don't know if I saw them. Um, it says Dark Chocolate Mint Toads. And that one was eight pounds. So let me show you how they look or like how they are licensed on the back so you can see like on the brothers and then the making of Harry Potter I can't even tell you if I saw this pin at the Wizarding World in Orlando I don't know but I saw it this time and I thought like, yeah, that looks very nice. And the next pin I got was this pin. This is the window in the prefect's bathroom and you can see this window in the movie Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire that one was eight pounds and the last pin I got is this you can simply tell I'm a butter bear fan or at least like I'm not a bear I don't like the drink as much as I love the like style um, it looks like a stained glass it reminds me of visiting the photographic exhibition because over there they had a butter bear bar and the bar had this kind of stained glass window style and that pin was $6.95 so it says butter bear bat on the back So these were my four pins I got and then I think I think I got the next product, the next and last product. I think I got this over at Oxford because I did a day tour, a day trip to Oxford and there I saw those. A set of six pencils interesting how they translated it into German Satz mit sechs Stiften strange so you can see like the six pencils and they have charms on them so two have Expecto Patrono on them two Alohomora and two Wingardium Leviosa let me show you them how they look in real life rather than being printed wow Ooh. 
and show you like three of them. So, oh, this one says it doesn't say only Wingardium Leviosa, but Ron, hang on, Ron Weasley Wingardium Leviosa. So this is more like a bluish color. Oh, you can see could be his wand. So the next one is says Hermione Granger and it has Alohomora on it. And the reddish one, Harry Potter Ex Pacto Patronum. Very great and I can't have too many pencils, could you? And they have rubbers on the back, which is even better. So, yeah, and it looks like they are officially licensed. Let me just show you. It's probably on the dark blue one, you can see it best. And on the red one, yeah. So, it was so pretty. I was so happy to see them because this is pretty useful. And, uh, yeah, having useful stuff in like the Harry Potter merchandise is it's really great. So these were all of the products I got. Um, if you like this video I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. Over there you can subscribe to my channel then you will be notified when another video is ready for you to view. And until then Stay magical.